That's a, that's a really good question because I think one of the things that's really important about me as a candidate is my background because I grew up very poor in the mountains of Virginia and I really didn't know that I was poor until I was called to the principal's office in the fifth grade and they had collected clothes for the poor children. And so I got called to the principal's office and, and basically came in and they said, we've collected clothes for the poor children and here's your box of stuff because everybody who lived around me was the same as I was. So we were all very poor and, and I just didn't know it because my dad always made a point of like making sure that we were fed, that we were clothed, but it's those type of things that really kind of made me want to be able to do something to make a difference for not only my family, but also the families in the district. So the issues that the district are most focused on really will kind of vary from week to week and it depends on what's going on at the national level and, and I'm not kidding you. A, a lot of things that happen at the national level kind of bleed down. So no kidding, last weekend when I was out I had two conversations with people who were concerned about nuclear war. Fortunately because I got into the Navy as a cold warrior at that particular point in time and I served 23 years as an intel officer. I can talk somewhat intelligently about what the threat is. When the House of Representatives was going through the issue about health care, as I would go around and I would talk to people at the doors, the recurring issue and concern was about health care, about pre-existing conditions, being able to have access to affordable health care. And, and that then brings us back to issues that are Virginia focused, like Medicaid expansion, and still being able to have access to affordable health care, and not having men make decisions for women about health care choices. So all of those things kind of come into play. The lack of full-day kindergarten is an issue that comes up on a recurring basis. People will talk about the fact that it's like, how is it I live in one of the wealthiest counties in the nation and I still don't have full-day kindergarten? Or why is it that college tuition keeps going up and it has gone up on average about 7% a year for the last X number of years? So there are real concerns that people have with health care, transportation, full day kindergarten, education, and these are all things that I think are very personal to me because of me being the first to get a college degree, the fact that as I was growing up in the mountains I did not have access to health care, and so those are things that it's like I can talk to and I can understand the personal effect of having an education or not having access to health care. I, I really do get this sense of community. Again, as you go out and you talk to people every day, you really get this sense that there is a caring community here. And it, it, it like I said, when, when you go out and you're talking to people who, who have health insurance through their employer, but when you ask them what's one of the top two or three issues that are concerning to you, and they go, health care. They have health care, but they know that other people don't have health care. And so that really kind of resonates that there's this caring community here that really believes that we have an obligation to help our fellow man, our fellow person. And I, I really believe that that is something that resonates within the community.